Hello, senior high school students and teachers. So our lesson today is to find the derivative of its functions using the quotient rule. So the first given, we have g of x is equal to x squared minus 5x all over 2x plus 6. So on our part 1 of the video, applying the quotient rule, so ang una natin ginagawa is identifying first the value of u and v para madali lang sa atin. Okay, so ano yung value ng u and v dito? So yung u natin, of course, that will be the numerator. So yung u natin dito is yung numerator natin. So ilagay natin ang u is equal to x squared minus 5x. And then yung v natin is equal to 2x plus 6. Then after natin ma-identify yung u and v, kunin natin yung derivative ng bawat isa. So what is the derivative ng x squared minus 5x. So, yung derivative ng x squared is 2x. Okay? What is the derivative of negative 5x? That is negative 5. So, dito naman sa v, what is the derivative ng 2x? That is 2. Ang derivative ng 6 ay 0. So, 2 lang ang sagot natin dito. Then, proceed na tayo sa pagkuha ng derivative. So, g prime of x is equal to, so, yung Hindi pa naalala yung formula. So, ang formula natin, yung gamit yung quotient rule sa pagkuha ng derivative is V times DU minus U times DV all over, all over V squared. Okay. Then, after that, uh, substitute lang natin. So, yung V natin is 2X plus 6. Ang du naman natin is 2x minus 5. Minus, again, lagyan natin ng bracket. So, yung v nat, ang u natin is x squared minus 5x multiply to 2. Okay. All over, all over, what is v? So, that is 2x plus 6 squared. Then, after that, multiply natin, no? 2x times 2x. So, mas maganda, i-solve muna natin dito sa side. So, 2x plus 6 para hindi ganun kahaba yung form solution natin. 2x minus 5. So, ito pwede natin gamitin ng foil method. 2x times 2x, that is 4x squared. 2x times negative 5, that is negative 10x. 6 times 2x, that is positive 12x. 6 times negative 5, that is negative 30. So, this will become 4x squared. So, negative 10x plus 12x is positive 2x minus 30. So, ang sagot natin dito is 4x squared, okay, and then minus 10x, and then after that, minus 30 minus, okay, so, x squared times 2, that is 2x squared. X, negative 5x times 2, that is negative 10x. All over 2x plus 6 squared. So, ilabas natin ngayon yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, we have 4x squared minus 10x minus 30. So, minus 2x squared positive 10x all over 2x plus 6 squared. Okay, si negative 10x saka si positive 10x makakancel yan. And then 4x squared minus 2x squared ang naiwan na lang dyan ay 2x squared. Okay? That will be 2x squared. Okay, wait for a while. So, parang nakalimutan ko yung uh, this is 4x squared plus 2x. Supposed to be this is 2x. Kaya pala. Okay, so this is negative 2x. Oh my. Wait, ayusin lang natin yung solution natin. Okay, mali pala. Alright, so nakalimutan natin yung positive 2x. So, should be, the answer is 4x squared plus, okay, plus 2x minus 30. 
Okay, saka natin ilabas si negative 2x squared, positive 10x. So, 4x squared minus 2x squared, that is 2x squared. Okay, 2x plus 10x, that is positive 12x minus 30 over 2x plus 6 squared. Okay, so this will be the uh, derivative of the given function. So, g prime of x is equal to 2x squared plus 12x minus 30 over the square root of 2x plus 6. So, I'll give you another example. So, y is equal to 3 times 14 plus 2x over x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, again, uh, unang gagawin is kunin yung value ng u. Ang u natin is yung numerator. So, 3 times 14 plus 2x. So, ito ay kailangan pa natin i-simplify. Na-expand natin to. So, 3 times 14, so that is 42, okay? 42 plus 3 times 2x is 6x. Okay, ano yung derivative nito? So, yung derivative nito is 6. Okay, tama ba? And then yung v natin, so ang v natin, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, ang derivative ng v natin ay, so what is the derivative of x squared? That is 2x. Derivative ng 5x, positive 5. And then yung 6, that it will be 0. Okay, so this will be now ang gagamitin natin no, sa formula. So, ang formula natin is y prime is equal to v times du minus u times dv. Okay, this is dv over v squared. Okay, so substitute lang muna natin. What is v? That is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Multiply to du, which is 6. And then, the minus, ilagyan natin ng bracket. Ang yun natin is uh, 6x plus 42. So, inuna ko lang yung 6x class. Ha? Times 2x plus 5. Okay. All over x squared plus 5x plus 6 squared. Okay, para mas madali sa atin, i-multiply muna natin sa sign. Okay, we all know that x squared plus 5x plus 6, okay, times 6, that is 6x squared. Ito naman ay 30x and then 36. So, kahit ito naman, yun na sa loob, multiply muna natin, 6x plus 42 times 2x plus 5. Okay, so dito pwede foil method, no? 6x times 2x, that is 12x squared. And then 6x times 5, that is positive 30x. 42 times 2x is positive 84x. 42 times 5, that is positive 210. And then 12x squared, so 30x plus 84x, is that is positive. 80, again, 30x plus 84, so what is the answer? 114, okay? So that is 114x plus 210, okay? So, proceed tayo dito. Alright. So, proceed tayo. So, we all know the answer is 6x squared min, uh, plus 30x plus 36 minus. So, ang sagot natin is 12x squared plus 114x plus 210. Okay over x squared plus 5x plus 6 squared. Then after that, okay, labas natin yung sa loob ng parenthesis, 6x squared plus 30x plus 36 minus 12x squared minus 114x minus 210. Okay, over 
So, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 squared. And then after that, 6x squared minus 12x squared, that is negative 6x squared, okay? 30x minus 114x, so that is negative 84x. And then, 36 minus 210, that is negative 174, over, okay, copy lang natin yung denominator. X squared plus 5x plus 6 squared. So, this will be the derivative ng function natin. Y prime is equal to negative 6x squared minus 84x minus 174 all over the squared of x squared plus 5x plus 6.